Welcome to Firearms of America. Today on this beautiful rainy day, I am in one of my favorite places here in Fort Myers, Florida. Shooters! Today I have this little compact Walther CCP M2. Now, let's do some shooting, shall we? Starting with a magazine, of course, holding eight rounds, chambered in 380 ACP, almost cut my finger off, first try. Actually, the magazine is really good. The magazine is really good, it's fairly easy to load. One thing that I wanted to point out here with this magazine is as you can see, there's a little bit of space here behind. So at first, it might throw you off whenever you're loading back and forth. Ah, huh. space. Makes some sense. I should push the cartridge further in, but it doesn't go in because that's where it's supposed to be. Keep that in mind. Eight rounds, I lost the count as always. That's why I do like the magazines with some indication of how many cartridges are in there. Not the case here, as you can see. All right. Let's see what it can do. Get it on the right last round. Let's do a couple more here. Try to get that orange square right there. Now some people are not fans of the 380s. I personally like it, especially in the concealed carry. And for 380s, you can see people call them 9 short. Because this is a pretty much 9 millimeter. It's just a with less punch shorter cartridge. And uh, I think they're pretty good for concealed carry self-defense situations and they allow for these compact guns to be this compact gun. This is only 3.5 inch barrel, so fairly easy to get you, easy to carry on you. Let's see what I can do. Alright, so a few things that I wanted to point out here is that, first of all, I do absolutely love the grip. It fits perfectly, perfectly in my hands. My hands are kind of small, but it fits perfectly. And because the magazine itself this is the standard magazine that comes with it, this holder, it has a little bit of that extension on it. It kind of helps to hold your pinky in the right spot and have a good grip. And with this hand, obviously, because at least that's you know some people prefer to hold it like so I mine is this because it has serrations here on the trigger guard I do like it as well it helps with my grip uh, but one thing that I wanted to point out here regarding the trigger specifically is that there is quite a little bit of the play whenever it comes to trigger and it's uh, I don't want to say wobbly it feels wobbly doesn't really feel wobbly but there is a little bit of that sideways play that does not feel very pleasant right? try to be picky or extremely picky. but whenever it comes to the travel before the snap what we have is this light travel then there is a little bit of a tougher travel then we have a little bit more about two millimeters and then a lot more. So, <laughs> this is really what I wanted to point out here with this gun. Great gun. As you can see, pretty close group from the very first try with, you know, very standard sights, something that most of us are used to, you know? For example, compared to this Beretta right here that I 
just reveal the sides here as you can see are a little bit unique in a way because you don't really line up the posts instead you line up the front side that front dot over that rear dot so it might take if you don't have somebody explaining this to you that this is how you're supposed to line up you might be surprised why you're not in the car for a while please have one. but here on this Walther CCP M2 it's standard the way I like also you probably already have noticed the extra safety feature here that shows you if it is caught or not and currently it looks like it is let's see it double check there is no round is there and there is nothing here nothing here yeah. and it's gone disappeared pretty good of course we have our external extractor here as well the slide itself it doesn't have a lot of play it does have quite a little bit definitely acceptable for something like this in the price range and these uh, usually go for about a 350 and you can get cheaper of course you can probably find a, a good used uh, Walther CCPM2 for about as low as 250 you, that's usually how I go about it use 100 rounds through it test it good for me uh, but the slide itself, I do like it. I do quite like it. It's, it's very nice. It's, it's very cool. So if uh, you have a girlfriend that uh, complains that it's too hard to rack the gun, which uh, I always complain that it's too hard to rack the gun. I just complain a lot in jail. This is a pretty good option. And of course you notice the rail, you know, if you want to make an attachment for, I don't know, the laser. Flashlight. Let's do a few more rounds. Another thing that I wanted to point out here with this gun, before I put the magazine, is that it kind of does look like the mag release here is ambidextrous because yeah, we have a button here. But no, it's a trick. This actually does not press. It's just literally just this side right here. Yep and nothing so let's do a few more rounds and i'll make a summary and uh overall i i do like the feel of the gun it feels really good like i said probably my favorite part of this gun would be the grip itself it's very comfortable i do love the shape and you know all of these decoration for some extra grip. it's very good it's not too aggressive but it has enough aggression just to give you that good tight grip uh, my least favorite thing about this gun would be the trigger because of that extra space and uh, this is a single action pistol so you would expect a little bit of more lightness and more crisp from the trigger as a single action pistol but oh well Now let's talk a little bit about the safety. We got our round in, obviously it is loaded. As you can see, there is our indicator that says that loaded. The safety operation switch now. Safety operation basically locks the firing pin, so your trigger just travels back and forth like. I do like this safety. Uh, it's not ambidextrous again, so you know, left-handed people. Sorry, but but the switch itself, I think it is placed very nicely, very conveniently, and the operation of the safety, I think it is very intuitive. Feels natural. Let's do a few shots. That orange. Right. I have to say I do like this safety feature right here that tells you if it is cocked or not if it is it doesn't tell you if it's loaded or not because obviously right now we have nothing in here and it says that it is cut which is fine still still an extra feature to have so overall, I think it is a pretty good gun. I do like it. Walther, Walther, they make 
some really really good products if you check out the reviews online excellent excellent reviews you know made in germany then german engineering <laughs> pretty good pretty good gun uh let me know guys what you think in the comments below i would really appreciate your requests for reviews uh, and your opinions about the gun of course as well if you have any suggestions to change around my reviews i really appreciate it just getting back into reviewing the gun so everything would definitely help thank you very much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video